Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video I'm going to be going over all the S class characters in Battle Pass for the upcoming Battle Pass just previewing them basically giving you my thoughts and also going to tier them in the order that I think is the best order to go for these characters based on how much it's going to cost to get them and also their quality. So obviously Battle Pass 4 was announced last week and we have got four characters up for grabs. It is going to be Michonne, Andrea, May and Beta, all as S-Class characters and they are all damage dealers. If you remember last season we did have two damage dealers and two defense team characters and when it comes to the selection last season it was mainly down to which team you needed to improve the most. If you needed to improve your attack teams more you could easily just go for Nor. If you needed to improve your defense team more Tanya seemed to be the best option. So it was quite easy to determine which character to go for in that battle pass as a priority. However because these are all attack team characters it can be quite hard to make up your mind however it can be quite easy to compare them against each other now some information has already been revealed in terms of what tiers some of the characters going to be we are going to have the normal 11,600 total royal coins to spend and we can get up to 4,000 s class andrea cards that would cost two and a half thousand royal coins per 1k cards and then we also have the s class beta may and michonne we can get two of their five star ascendables and up to six thousand of each of their cards we do not know for certain which character is the more expensive out of these three i think a lot of people would assume it's going to be may because she is extremely recent she's the most recent character in the battle pass but we have not had this information provided to us but I will go under that assumption and in this order we have got Andrea as the just the cards, May as the more expensive of the three remaining characters and Beta and Michonne as the cheapest characters in the battle pass. That's the assumption and we'll go through each character individually but first you can see that all of their attack stats are pretty high. This is them all getting attack boosts from their weapon and they all have good base attack stat for attack team characters and this is what we talked about. The fact that they're all attack team characters should make it easier for you to decide which teams of yours they can slot into and which one's going to be the best based on what teams you're having trouble coming up against so first we'll look at andrea and i have done a first look video of this character so you will be able to get a big breakdown of everything her rush her active skill specialist skill weapon and just showing you how each individual thing works with gameplay this is just my thoughts on the character and andrea is one of the most exciting and fun characters that you can get in rts without a doubt she has a lot of ap gain factors on her rush on her weapon and this does mean she can get a natural turn to rush and give two other characters a natural turn to rush as well there is obviously the massive downside where exhaust is going to be a huge issue to andrea and her being an alert character you would think that she could be used against a team let's say with marge as a leader and it'd be great but obviously it's not going to be too great at all she's going to take a lot of damage every turn because of that ap gain on her weapon and obviously if she does do her rush she's going to be effectively doing main damage to two teammates because if they're exhausted by marge's leader skill they take 800 main damage per 10 percent they gain and it's 50 percent ap gain on that rush so it'll take 4,000 damage not too many attack team characters can survive that so i would definitely swerve on any teams that have potential exhaust on their defense teams she is of course the most expensive character in here and honestly i do think the 4k slot you know the 4k cards for 10k royal coins is extremely expensive i think they should maybe take a little look at the the cost of that slot because even though andrea is so good i would still generally say it's best to avoid her because you can get so much more by going for the other characters if unless you need like one or two care of her cards you can still get quite a lot in the battle pass still with the last 1.6k if you get all four care of her cards you can't really get much you can get one five star ascendable of another character battle passes are generally just extremely good value and it's best to get as much as you can and honestly that 4k slot offers the worst value in the entire battle pass you should only really do it if you're extremely desperate and honestly andrea has been in war crates recently she has been turning up in events so you're most likely going to get her sooner rather than later anyway 
And now we move on to S Class May. Now, S Class May was actually a Saints and Sinners character. When I did my first look video of her, I didn't bring attention to that. So if you are a collector and you want to get your hands on the Saints and Sinners characters, we have had three in the game so far. We have had Georgia. You had to be part of Warrior Champions to get her. She might be available in the future. They haven't said she wouldn't. But they also haven't said she would be. So, but that's a Saints and Sinners character. We also have May, and we also have the Gold Bricks character, Jean Baptiste. So, there's going to be at least three characters from the Saints and Sinners game, and you can get your hands on May in the Battle Pass. She is most likely the most expensive slot in the Battle Pass just because she is actually really new. She's not more than a, a couple of months old, so she is one of the most recent characters. She did get a slight fix on her rush from pretty much day one it was fixed instantly but on my first look video i did bring attention to the fact that it was broken and it deals 900 percent damage to two enemies but that second part the 100 percent heal reduction was not applying heal reduction to characters that she actually took down out of those two enemies so that was a big problem it was effectively like i made the joke that her rush is called last in effects but if you take out two characters it does no effects because obviously the ap drain does nothing and obviously the heal reduction not applying means nothing as well she can potentially take out four characters with this rush because she has got Waste Knot as a specialist skill. And the combination between the two is fantastic. The one thing about her is she doesn't have extremely high attack stat. It's okay. You know, 5.3k isn't too bad. You can still get her up to like 17, 18, maybe 19,000 attack stat if you just go all out. But she's going to massively rely on boosts like a Kenny or... Or maybe like a strong attacks weapon on the team with other strong characters. So she gets a constant boost of damage. If you're going to just have it with her flat attack stat, she's not going to be that fantastic. And honestly, right now, there are not too many tough characters on defense teams. We are start starting to see a little bit of a rise. We're seeing Akira. We are also seeing Tara, who was part of the most recent World Champions rewards structure. But there aren't too many tough characters on defense teams that are like new. A lot of them are old and you can generally deal with them in other ways. But May could be one for the future if there is like a good tough defense team character to giving out to free to play which just hasn't happened yet now beta is pretty much the ranged version of may because he obviously brings the double hit rush and waste not as well so he can potentially do the same thing that may can in terms of taking down four except he can do it to quite a higher level his base attack stat is 20 percent higher goes up to 6.7k nearly and his rush goes up to 1200 percent from 900%. So you're looking at another 33% damage. So you're looking at such a high increase in damage. He doesn't necessarily need the attack buffs. But if he gets them. And he can so easily work in a team with Kenny. His damage output is going to be so massively amplified. He is a character you can get up to 20k attack stat without any problems. Anyone at over 6,000 attack you can get up to that sort of level. And the damage output is going to be huge. He has got a soft counter to trader because of his active skill giving himself 25 percent hp for a few turns and his weapon also does daze the enemy and obviously makes him be able to recover from daze himself so he has the potential to just keep that hill going he is probably one of my favorite characters in the walking dead universe and i am grateful that his s class is extremely powerful and is going to be a lot of fun to use he's going to be able to take down the four potential because of the rush waste not combo just like i talked about with s class may and he just looks sick let's be honest he looks sick now lastly we have s class michonne and she is an extremely powerful character and if you're having any problems with jackie teams and you don't have s class magna who's the hard counter to this team she is going to make a massive difference. She has got a weapon that gives resistance to herself and two other teammates at the beginning of a fight for two turns. It always goes to Michonne, that's the guarantee, but the other two teammates is completely RNG. So let's say you had Michonne on a team with four other characters and they all had resist 65%. Two of those characters are guaranteed to resist because they're going to get the 100% resist and the other ones are going to have like 65% chance to resist. Now this obviously is much more powerful than just trying to go in and, and roll the dice. She does also have an extremely good active because she has a first turn daze. And this is extremely important right now 
because there are so many first turn actives. She is one of the few characters in the game that actually can potentially block this. Other than Michonne, it's pretty much just going to be Priya, pretty much, with her weapon. So Michonne can come into great usage against Marge teams. The downside is she does gain 40% AP, so would obviously take quite a lot of damage based on Exhaust. She has also got one of the heaviest hitting rushes in the game at 1200%, and she's basically going to one-shot anybody in the right circumstances, even without any sort of defense down. But the fact that she combos with S-Class Alpha, who was obviously was part of a previous battle, Battle pass that a lot of you have probably got your hands on. The combo between those two characters is awesome. She has also a little bit of slight control on the side with her confused. That does mean that if she takes out a character, two other enemies are going to be confused for two turns. The only downside of Michonne is pretty much S-Class Jackie is being going to be used less and less and less as time goes on. She has been hard countered by Magna. The release of Jesus is going to see Jesus basically get popped. I mean, Jesus is everywhere right now for me personally. I am seeing the odd Jackie now and again, but I think in regions that struggle to get Jesus, you may maybe going to see Jackie a bit more, so Michonne's going to be more useful. But even if you don't utilize Michonne for her weapon against Jackie, she's still going to be extremely powerful going forward against any fast defense team character. So that's a preview of the four characters. Now I'm going to give you my ideas of the tiers of these characters and the order I think you should pick these characters up in. So this is my idea of the order of the characters in this battle pass. If you want to reply to my top comment, you can put your order in as well. Beta and Michonne are neck and neck. This is basically a joint first place. It really comes down to which defense teams you need to take these characters in against the most. If you're facing Jackie teams a lot, Michonne. If you're not facing Jackie teams a lot, Beta is going to help you more. He isn't that great against Jesus defense teams unless you get Jesus to remove all the camouflage, then he becomes extremely powerful. Now, it's most likely as well that Beta and Michonne are going to be the two cheapest characters in this battle pass, and I definitely think they're worth picking up because of this. Beta, Michonne, and Mei should also be in the actual tier reward cards, as we did have last season with Noor, Tanya, and Shane. Those three characters were in the rewards. Marcus was not last season, so you can expect Andrew not to be as well. Now, when it comes to the lower tier characters, I would say Mei is in third place. She falls off a bit because she does require another character to really hit her peak, but she can have really high damage output if she has got the right support. Now, last spot is going to be Andrea. Now, I will say Andrea is without a doubt the most fun and enjoyable character in this battle pass, but she's just so expensive. And the only time I ever saw picking up the 4K card slot character was the first season, just because the other characters were not that great. Every season since, it's always been worth picking up the other characters just because they are good characters. They are harder to come by. They're not openly available. For instance, Beta and Mei are not in the daily crates, so not a lot of people have their hands on these characters. So I do think they need to maybe readdress the cost of the character in the first slot. I think 10,000 Royal Coins should get you at least five or 6,000 of the cards of a character, not 4,000. You should have the majority of a character by going all in on them on a battle pass not less than 50 percent in my opinion but those are my top four characters for this upcoming battle pass like i said you can reply to my top comment to give your ideas and your opinions on what your top four characters of this battle pass are in terms of the order hopefully this has been of some use to you if you are trying to determine which characters to go for guys i will make a video later on in the battle pass just to show you which characters i eventually went for but most of the time i will go and try and get as many of the rewards as possible just to increase the battle pass value as much as possible for me that's generally the best way to go but that is going to be the end of my video i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving